Hi, this is Tony Swinehart with MCP's Full Court Press, brought to you by Shelby State Bank, as well as House of Flavors Incorporated. Today we're with Jamie Healy, as well as Ryan Graham. They are involved with the Pop Warner program here in Scottville that does football all the way from second going into third grade, all the way up through now seventh grade. Seventh graders which is, are included. Yep, yeah, and they, they, ha they can't be 13 before August 1st, correct? Yeah. Of that calendar, yes. Okay. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Thanks for having um, us. Thanks for having Jamie, invitation. you do the treasury and secretary part yep. of it, right? Yep. And so what is your role, and when did you take on that role starting uh, with this, this program now? So I kind of got involved about two years ago when we um, brought our son to the program. Um, I helped uh, Ryan's predecessor before that. And then about last year, we created more of a structured um, leadership group, and that's when I took on the role of doing, um, our, you know, secretary and treasurer, and I head up a lot of the, the fundraising um, for our group. Yes, and which in the last few years we've done quite a few things. I should I say we because yes. I've always been a part of this as well. <laughs> Sorry, our number one volunteer. Yes. Right? <laughs> Concession stand. Is, I am at the we're concession there. stand. Uh, so, where do we stand as of this year? Because we're not charging for the camp, right, Ryan? That is correct. This year, we wanted to try something different because of uh, some families that might, may or may not have financial um, restraints. So, we were going to offer camp for free this year. Uh, encourage more kids to be present. We wanted to get kids out of the house, get active right. again. Yes. Okay. And so, fundraising wise. What do we, what does normally each summer, the different things that we do or the different thing the program does, I should say? So it starts off at Gus Macker. We do the parking lots. Um, from there, we do the Offshore Classic, Blood Rock. Um, the Offshore Classic is our largest. Um, we help with the chambers bringing in the fish and, and the weigh in. Um, and none of those are going to happen this year, just like every other you know, organization and event that's happened. It's either canceled or it's downsized to the point where they don't really need us to help. Right. Um, and so typically we bring in about 6,000 in the season, so that helps us pay for whatever new equipment we need to buy. Um, and, and this year it's going to be a little bit more complicated um, right. just because we don't have those opportunities and we don't have those fundraisers. Right. Um, but we have positioned ourselves. Last year we made some changes as well and some strategic moves financially that um, I think we're going to do okay. And what Ryan was saying, the you know, some of the, the charging and how we're going to structure that, we'll make it work. Yeah, we will. We'll make it work. We we typically charge $75 per family for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're different. We're unique within our organization. We do not um, require families to bring in any of their own equipment. We provide all the equipment right down to the mouthpiece. Um, we make investments with our equipment. Uh, typically, helmets last 10 years, and they, are, they have to be recertified every two years. To recertify 75 helmets, which is what we just did, that's about $5,000. So all the fundraising that we do is brought right back into our organization. Right. It, well, and they also, like, of course, everything has been changing and ever-evolving, not with just Pop Warner football, but with, you know, with college football and the NFL and all along the way, even high school football, especially, like, with the helmets, making them more concussion proof I guess yes. you would say in a way and that type of thing now you also got new uniforms mm -hmm. yes, and did. was that two years ago two years ago yes yep and well which was a long time coming yes it was a lot <laughs> but of they fun look reason. wonderful they when, the, when the boys are out on the field so what age group does it actually start I said second going into third but what you have to be eight years old okay. as of August 1st okay and then, then it goes all the way up until 12. They up can't until be 13. 12. You can turn 13 to, on August 2nd and still play because Pop Warner says you are that age as of August 1st of that calendar year. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that's kind of something that we started just this last year. Correct. Because before it was all the way up through 6th grade. And then we yeah. also have the school team, which we is 7th and 8th grade combined, yeah. which they did quite a few years ago. I think because mainly the 7th and 8th grade, there wasn't enough players. Yes. So they yep, combined it to together. Yep. But with the Pop Warner program, I've seen a lot of repeat kids. So how many kids did we have last year, Pee Wee teams? We had 75 kids in our organization last year. The year before that, we had 77. We had 
three teams last year. We had one peewee team and two JV teams. Um, they used to be considered midgets, but we don't call them that anymore. We call them JV, Junior okay. Varsity. And uh, se yeah, 75 kids is an awful lot for right. such a small community like Stavel. Right. Well, and we also had some players come in from the Lake County yes. and also Oceana County. Didn't we have? We had we had nine, nine kids come over last year from Lake County to join okay. us. We had two come over from Mason County Eastern. Okay. Yeah. In Oceana, well, I guess Oceana, they kind of have their own, they have the heart They do, team they have the they heart have, organization. Yes. And the, yeah. um, they don't have a Shelby team for Pop Warner, do they? No, Shelby travels further down south. They're okay. not part of the Pop Warner. So the Pop okay. Warner that we're a part of is out of the YMCA Traverse City region. Okay. That's that's our governing body that we belong into. Okay. There's a North Division and a South Division, and uh, it's a it, we're we're very fortunate to be a part of such a great organization. Yes, and I've enjoyed it myself the last yeah. few years. And my son played, took a year off. And came out of retirement yes, as, as you asked. You're yep. like, thank you for coming out of retirement. But he really enjoyed it last year. He really enjoyed his coaches. Yeah. Now, as far as coaching, you have a lot of parent volunteers, right? We do. Uh, myself included, there's a total of 12 coaches. And that's not counting anybody that does something behind the scenes, such as Jamie. Okay. Jamie's here and there and everywhere. People know that Jamie exists. They may not see her today, but they know her. So altogether, we have well over 20 volunteers, easily. Yes. yes. Well, and you also take care of a lot of the paperwork. Yeah. And you, was it this last year or the year before that you transferred everything into the computer system? It was last year. Last year. Yeah. And that made it a lot easier. Streamline right. a, a, little, a little bit when we have everything electronic. <laughs> yes. yes. It's much easier. Yeah. Yes. Well, and you also have, now each year, do they have to... Uh, do their birth certificates. I know there are certain requirements that they have as they come in. Right. Especially the new, the littler kids. Yeah. Now, do they have to have those every year updated? No. Their birth certificate, as long as it's on file in the current, like we, if they played before, mm -hmm. um, that's one of those things. Part of the electronic, you know, database right. allows us to look that stuff up right. um, instead of you know keeping all of those documents. We've submitted those and we have those on file. So. Um, unless they're new, we shouldn't need those again. Okay. And registration, though, is something that you do every year. Mm -hmm. And they fill out new forms yeah. every year. Uh, and then also there's a lot of what I thought was really cool, you know, from myself filling out paperwork is there's concussion protocol Absolutely. that both the children and the parents have to look at and read and initial and sign. And there's also some... Um, there's code of conduct for code of the conduct. students yeah. as well as the, the parents. Yes. We look at report cards. We <laughs> yes. want to make sure. We always we tell everybody, hey, football is secondary to what's going on at school and at home. Yes. That's, uh, football is a privilege, but you have to do good in school in order to be a part of the organization. And that was one thing I really enjoyed, too. It's so family-oriented. It is. That's, you that's see our motto. Our yes. family, when, when we get in a huddle and we break, we put our hands in, we, we always say, all right, on three, family. Family on three, one, two, three. That's our, we, we preach family because to be a part of a small organization like this, we have to treat each other with respect and dignity and we, we really want to preach that to every kid that, that joins our, our organization. That yes. being here is something special. Yes. It takes a village to raise, to raise yes. children and this is our yes. village. Yes. yes. And, it, and it's wonderful for someone like myself, who is a single parent, sure. to have like all of the, you know, I've had people give rides to my kids and certain things. Yep. It's really wonderful that it's such a community like that. So we do have a camp uh, that's coming up. Yes. So mm -hmm. camp was originally scheduled to start next week, Tuesday, on July 28th. After uh, careful considerations and talking with Barb, our director from the YMCA Pop Warner, we decided it'd be best to push it out into August. We're not sure what date we're going to pick yet. Okay. We're kind of waiting. We're trying to wait and see what the MHSAA says okay. for their guidelines and how they're going to structure fall sports. And then once they come out with their um, recommendations, then our YMCA Pop Warner will then shape what rules we have to implement and put in place. Uh, we take safety as our number one priority. Our yes. coaches our coaches are trained on concussion awareness. We're trained on how to, how to properly fit a helmet. And now with the COVID restrictions, now we have to be trained on how to properly manage and, and produce a football organization. Right. So we're basically starting all over this year. And those are the challenges that we're facing right now. Right. Well, and it's, I mean, it's nice that it's an outdoor 
sport. Absolutely. But you also have the littler kids that are just starting. I mean, in schools alone, it's going sure. to be hard enough to keep them six feet apart. <laughs> and it's, but they all do stand on the sideline yeah. and they, you know, cheer on the teams and, and, and everything else. The older kids, I'm sure, will be a little bit more aware of that type of thing. Uh, but that's all stuff that you have to take in consideration this year. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's, it's, those are the challenges that not just us and Scottville Pop Only Football as an organization that we're facing. Uh, we do realize that everybody is in this together. We're all facing challenges, and right now we're just trying to figure out the safest approach to make sure that everyone comes and goes every day the way that they arrived here. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to? We do have the website that is on the Facebook. It's under Scottville Pop Warner. Is there anything else that either of you would like to add to to let people know or anything else that we want to broadcast, I guess you'd say? Well, I, I would like to thank all of our volunteers from past and present. And um, parents, if you're listening, please be patient with us. We're doing everything we can do. We want to proceed, but we want to proceed with caution. We want to make sure we're doing this the right way. As soon as we have a, a, defi a definitive game plan on how we can do this the right way, we will, we will share it, we'll put it on our page, we'll put it on MCP, we'll make sure that everybody is aware as, as soon as updates become available. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Ryan. You. And for more news, go to masoncountypress.com.